morning, my beautiful mamas and mamas-to-be. Welcome back to my motherhood and lifestyle channel called the Simple Mommy Life Channel. So if you haven't guessed already by the little clip uh, that you previously just watched here in the video, we are going to be talking about elimination communication, aka uh, EC or early potty training. So I'm just going to touch base on what exactly is elimination communication, how you can start elimination communication with your baby, and of course the uh, pros and cons um, to maybe doing this kind of potty training versus the um, traditional potty training like when the baby is two years. So let's get right into that. So elimination communication essentially is early potty training. Training, and it's just a kind of potty training um, because the baby is not mobile or verbal uh, that just requires you to communicate with your baby um, for them to do their bathroom needs. Uh, so you can start elimination communication at birth. Uh, there's moms that start uh, EC as early as um, you know, the newborn stage, like when the baby comes back, uh, back home from the hospital, we started elimination communication in our household when Ileana was about seven months old. Uh, she's uh, currently a year old, so we're three months into elimination communication, and I couldn't be more proud of my little baby. <laughs> Yeah, so Ileana actually gives us about uh, three or four poops per day in the potty um, and about, uh, I would say, five or six peas. Uh, the peepees are a little bit harder for us to catch uh, because she doesn't seem to always empty her bladder every single time she goes on the potty. So she does tend to trickle a little bit still in her diaper. Um... But yeah, I mean, overall, like, I haven't changed a poopy diaper in, I can't even tell you, like, days, weeks. Uh, she no longer poops in her diaper. She really has, like, a good, uh, solid understanding that the poop and the pee, pee goes in the potty. We do try to make it a positive experience for her, of course. And, um, yeah, I mean, like, when we started potty training, it... It was a little bit confusing for Ileana. She didn't really understand like why mommy and daddy were now putting her on this little mechanism pot for her to do her pee-pees and her poo-poos. Um, but she she learned pretty quickly. There are days that Ileana only goes through three diapers a day and uh, she wakes up completely dry after her naps um, and uh, no longer uh, poops in her diaper overnight. So I definitely see a, a lot of progress um, in terms of her potty training journey. So some really important keys about elimination communication is the communication part. Uh, so signaling to your baby that this is time for them to uh, go to the bathroom. So for peepees, we usually have the signal pss, 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 which would allow Ileana to um, understand that it was time to do a peepee. -pee. And for the poopoos, we used to just uh, do like uh, more poopy sound. Mm, 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 mm. We used to do a little poop face, you know, try to um, get her to, to push her poop. Like we would, you know, do our little pushing face. Um, so that was uh, something that really got uh, us going with elimination communication. So sorry about that, guys. She is like full on playtime, wants to be on the camera, does not want to be on the camera. <laughs> Um, another thing about commun elimination communication is the timing. And this was one thing that we really played on. Um, so uh, we used to put her on the potty um, before and after she would sleep. Uh, when we started elimination communication, she was on two naps a day. So we would uh, do potty before and after naps. Uh, before she went to bed, after she woke up uh, from her night's sleep. Uh, Any time that uh, we were transitioning uh, in terms of like leaving the house. So if we would go for a walk, we'd put her on the potty. When we came back from our little outing, she would go on the potty again. And um, before and after meals. Uh, after meals was a hot time for the poops. I've noticed for at least my daughter. 
Um, and uh, another key thing as well with elimination communication, and I'm not like the most professional person on elimination communication. I've really only been doing this for three months, but uh, it, it really does work and it's amazing. And it's just the cues that you share with your baby. Uh, so my partner and I, we, we are really strong in cues uh, since she was a newborn. So uh, for eating, we would do like a our own little sign language just like us communicating with our baby through our hands and our faces for the peepees uh, we would go like this and for the poopoos, we would go like this. Uh, they are a little bit difficult for a little newborn baby to signal back to you. But after a couple of months, Ileana was actually using those signals to cue to us that it was time to go to potty. Other signals that your baby might be giving to you uh, that let you know that they uh, need to be put on the potty is, of course, the famous poop face, the uh, inevitable pushing about to do a poop uh well when you see that you know that they're pooping so you put them on the potty um and uh for peas uh not all babies actually have uh, something that they do with their body when they're uh, about to pee or peeing but i've noticed with my daughter uh she tends to stop whatever she's doing if she's playing she'll stop she'll look in the void and pause and then she'll be on her way uh, to doing whatever she was doing. So when I see that, that is uh, a cue uh, for me to put her on the potty that, okay, she needs to pee. Um, so uh, picking up on those little signals, those cues that your baby is giving to you without them knowing that they're giving this uh, signal to you is another great way to communicate with your baby about their potty needs. Some pros to doing elimination communication is, uh, well, you get a head start on the whole potty training journey with your baby. Uh, the baby uh, starts to feel empowered because they're communicating with their mom and their dad about their bathroom needs. They feel really proud of themselves when they do a pee-pee or a poo-poo in the potty. And, um, of course, you don't have those uh those nasty poop diapers uh, to change. Uh, if you uh, are using disposable diapers or even cloth diapers, I'm a cloth diaper mom, um, you will see a huge reduction in the number of diapers that your baby uses as well. Um, so that is amazing for the environment. Liliana, what are you doing? Do you need to go to the potty? Yeah, I think it's time to put Ilian in the potty. Hi, can we wave? Can we wave? Hello. Hi, Baba. Hmm, love you. And the last thing that I wanted to share to you guys about elimination communication is that it has its ups and downs, just like breastfeeding, just like anything um, in terms of like baby learning. There are going to be periods of times where she's she, he or she will do amazingly. Uh, you know, will will give you uh, a pee every single time you put them on a potty um, or a poo poo. Um, you know, every few hours or so. Um, and then there's going to be times where they're going to do a little bit less, but it's important just to continue to do that. And also, I just want to let your, you guys know, uh, especially if, um, you know, like you feel this pressure to start elimination communication, you really don't need to do it full time. We decided to do it full time off the bat. Um, but you can also, uh, practice elimination communication part time or occasionally. They say that um, the best months to start elimination communication is bet between uh, zero to four months. Um, and uh, definitely start elimination communication before 18 months of age. If it's 18 months and older, then um, there's been studies that probably uh, the traditional potty training uh, way is the best for your baby.
All right, my beautiful mamas and mamas-to-be, thank you so much for tuning into uh, this week's video on elimination communication. If you have any questions, don't uh, hesitate to leave them below. I love to hear everybody's feedback. If you have anything else to add as well on the elimination communication topic, if you are a mommy uh, practicing EC with your baby, um, also leave uh, in the comment box below your um, experience uh, with your baby and such. Uh, so I am going to catch my little one because she is running away and it's time for her to go nap time. So I will see you all in the next one. Peace out. Did I just hear a pee-pee trickle? <laughs>